Fizz and the tantrums. Oh hey, what is up, Miss Pancotti? <clears throat> Don't mind the music in the background. I think I'm gonna keep it on because I like the song. I wanted to make an extra video because I think that is just my style. So I hope you give me a really good grade on it because I'm really working hard here. So here are their adaptations. They have the same coloration as their environment, which means that they're basically green and brown, which helps them blend in to where they live and stuff. Um, sometimes they're blue or black, but usually they're just they're just green or brown. They're also really good at confusing predators because they stay still a lot of the time, so predators don't really like, you know, see them because they're still. They're good at swinging back and forth. That's a really good thing because usually they're on trees and stuff, so when it sways back and forth, they're good at swaying back and forth to mimic the tree. I'm making Great. With all of these adaptations that they have, it's very rare for animals to eat them. So it is a very effective adaptation. Next, unless you're a sluggish creature, then they'll probably have bad luck. But usually, it's very rare for animals to eat them. They have wings, so they're very good at blending in. And they have wings to fly away from their predators. So those are... They're really good at surviving. And somehow their wings also make them invisible and I have no idea how that works, but it's a thing. I also read this one thing where it said that, how do I explain it? Sorry, I like this song. I'm getting off topic, but I have no idea how to explain it. But basically, they can spike their back legs if a predator is trying to attack them and it usually drives them away. But that adaptation is exclusive to only bigger varieties of walking sticks. Um, aside from that, they have really stiff bodies. That helps trick their predators. Here's a physical adaptation. Some walking sticks are referred to as autonomy. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but the word's like right there. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to say and I have no idea if I said it right. And those are names for the young versions or basically like the kids or the babies or the youngsters, I guess, of this species. What's cool for them is that if a predator tries to get close to them and wants to attack them, they can let go of their leg. I don't know how it works, but they can let go of their leg and it grows back later. So they, they basically just have all of these different adaptations to them that are really cool because they're able to survive off of them. Yes, this was an extra video, but I really hope that this gives me a higher grade because I'm really working hard here. Thanks for watching my video, miss. Have a great day. I'm so sorry that you're having such a long process grading these projects. So I hope this, this made you relax a little bit and get a little laugh, you know? Have a good day.